get underway? Is there any injury updates on the this morning? No, all fit and healthy and ready to go. Just tell us what this week has been like, and in particular your reaction perhaps uh, to the Scotland team using those undertakings. This week, yeah, it's been calm. We've had obviously two weeks preparation, so we're very clear on how we want to play um, as, a, as a coaching group and as a team. Um, and we've just worked hard. We've um, got some things to get better at, and we've been putting all our effort into, into that, really. And when it came to that reaction to the Scotland team, no Sander Ferguson for them in the front row? Yeah, probably a little bit surprised, but obviously he um, hasn't played in a little while because of injury. So. I know uh, VP now pretty well, so he's a he's a pretty uh, he's a pretty sharp scrummager. So we know, we know what he's going to bring, and along with Simon Bergen. So um, Scotland got us picked a strong team, got a strong squad. So um, I've coached a lot of them, so I, I'm, I know what they're going to bring. How much does that help you when it comes to these Scotland games? That experience you've had of being up north. Um, yeah, a little bit. Obviously, I know the players probably better than than. Uh, most of the group here, so there's a little bit of inside info, but not a huge amount. We've been concentrating on what we're going to do and concentrating on our game and getting better at what we do. So uh, it helps a little bit. Um, we'll see tomorrow whether it's helped enough. You alluded it to in a previous answer about things needed to change. How much for you personally are those memories of those boos against South Africa sort of like hang hanging there that you want to rectify that? I don't. It, from personally, it, it's 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 not really something that's a, that I think about. We've got a new coaching group. Um, we've there's been changes in the squad, uh, changes in the team to start um, from previous regimes. So we're just looking about g g this weekend beating Scotland. That's as simple as we've not looked any look back any further or look forward any further. We're just concentrating on getting this this weekend right and and um, winning the Calcutta Cup. Yeah, great. No, I mean, um, myself and Coley have got to go back a long way. He's come through the system at Leicester when I was there, and uh, he's been the form scrummager um, in the Premiership for probably the last two years. So we're picking people on form, as Steve has already spoken about, and um, Dan's on good form, and he's a world-class scrummager, um, played very well for Leicester. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing him play tomorrow. Thanks. No? Well, we'll come to you. Thanks. What does England Scotland mean to you? What did it as a player, and how has that changed over the years? Um, yeah, um, I suppose when I was a player, uh, just the the rivalry, um, especially when you uh, you realise how competitive the Scots are against the English. Um, I still live in Edinburgh, so um, I see that every day. Um, <laughs> so look, it's it's a, it's a huge game. We 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 know it means a lot to to Scotland. Um, and, and it means a hell of a lot to us as an England team. So um, the rivalry is going to be keen. They've got a good squad. I know a lot of them, as we've spoken about, they're a good side. They're going to be very confident coming here because they've had a great record against us in the last few years. Um, so we, we've got everything to do. Um, the rivalry will be, will be fierce, um, uh, both on and off the field, I'm sure. To, to 2018, yeah, 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 very. <laughs> no, all, all in good humour. Um, you handed Jamie Ritchie's a long-term contract, and um, he's been in contact. Well, he was in contact with you when you got the job. Are you pleased to see how he's progressed from Scotland captain? And have you spoke to him this week? No, I haven't spoken to any of the Scottish boys this week. Um, no, Jamie's a great player, um, and. Uh, I think first and foremost, he, he, the quality of his play has got him as first choice for Scotland, and then he's a natural leader, and he has been at Edinburgh, he was at schoolboy level, um, and that's clearly um, followed into to the national team. So, firstly, he's playing great rugby, and he's on top form, um, and he understands the game well, and he's a, he's a, he's a guy that can build that team around. WP Neil's 36, you know him well. Weak uh, no, not at all. Um, I'd probably, I'd probably class him in a similar class as Dan Cole around his scrummaging and set piece ability. So um, we know that's going to be a fierce part of the game. Um, and uh, no, VP's a, a quality scrummager, and we we treat him with a huge amount of respect. Richard, can you just reflect on the last couple of months a bit? Eddie Dowling, you were interim head coach 
I was two two weeks unbeaten. <laughs> yeah, never to co never to coach a game. What did you do in that two weeks? What did I do? Yeah, we were just trying to keep us in a direction until obviously decisions were made about what was going on. So um, just trying to uh, keep the keep the disruption to a minimum, really. And then obviously a lot of other coaches have left. You haven't. I mean, just what's your feeling about still being involved in the sort of transition that's going on? Here? Oh, look, it's professional sport, isn't it? You know, I've, I've seen at a club level, level that when I've coached that things change. So um, you just have to get on with your job. Like we're professional sports coaches and it's a professional game and things change all the time. So the key is that you concentrate on doing your job as, as well as you can and it's what everybody's done. And after the Six Nations, can you clarify about your future? Uh, talk of Montpellier joining them. Have you got any uh, sort of uh, update on your situation? No, no nothing that to report or talk about really. Would you like to stay? Oh look it's um, being part of the England setups has been, been fantastic and it's fantastic so um, those questions aren't really for this for this press conference but I'm here to talk about Scotland and not about me. There's, there's sometimes a perception that a team like Scotland will bring more passion against England and vice versa can you refute that suggestion? Um, I can assure you uh, tomorrow we'll have enough passion to match the Scots' passion and then it will be down to who plays the best rugby. Julian, please, thanks. Sorry, you talked earlier about wanting to make improvements. From your point of view, what specifically are those things that you've been working on with the players? Oh, certainly from my point of view, our set piece has got to be a lot better. Our scrummage hasn't been good enough um, and it's something that we, we need to improve. Um, both with the relationships with the referees and how we actually go about our business. So, and we know that's going to be a big test tomorrow. Schumann, Turner, um, VP now, quality front row. Um, so our, our set piece parts, uh, full stop, have got to be a lot better if we're going to compete at this level and and, and win games at this level. Give us an estimate of how many live scrums you've done since you've been in camp. Yeah, a few, a few, Steve. No, no, because you'll make a headline out of it. <laughs> no, no, let's be sure that we've worked hard at our set piece. Um, uh, you know how this team played when, when Steve coached the forwards previously. Uh, you know what Leicester are about, both with myself and Steve. Um, we, we'd like to think that we're, we're not where we want to be, but we're certainly building uh, a forward pack that um, will be competing um, with anybody. Yeah, I mean there was you know there were some assumptions where you look at their what you class as their say front line team. Um, uh, obviously, thirteen is an interesting selection, which may dictate how they want to play. Um, but you know, I, I know Scottish rugby very well. Uh, I know how good their depth is. Um, and there's a lot, there's a lot of strength and depth in 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 their team across the board. So um, I'm sure there's reasons for for certainly Ali not um, not being selected. But we know how good Ben White is. Um, uh, Horn at, off the bench, we know what threat he is. So um, we uh, we know there was probably was, you know I sort of was interesting when I saw the selection, but knowing the quality that they have uh, and the threats that they bring. Um, I don't think it weakens them in, in any way, shape, or form. Luke Crosby was kind of coming through when you, when you were there. I mean, are you surprised that he's, you know, how he's played this season? I'm not surprised how he's played. I'm actually, I'm actually um, really pleased for him because um, of all the Scottish back rowers that I've watched play, I think he's probably the form back rower in Scotland at the moment, um, and probably deserves his. Well, not probably, he deserves his spot. So I know how he's. Um, He's not the normal um, well-to-do Edinburgh boy, is he? So um, he's a tough bugger and he carries hard and he tackles hard. Um, and I think having Saracens play Edinburgh recently, I think it's given an insight for our group how good um, Luke, Luke's been playing. He's been outstanding. Um, and I've got a lot of time for him. Richard, we'll tell the refs will ask you to get on with the scrum as quickly as you can. Has that informed preparation this week, training? Have you had the stop on? Yeah, we, we want to get on with the contest. Um, like I said, it's something we have to improve. Uh, we, you know, you, got, you guys know me well enough. We, I want a contest at the scrum. 
So we've been working hard at that. We don't want to mess about and waste time. We think we're a fit team that wants to play a, 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 a fast pace. Um, so we'll be getting on with it. So we'll be there early and we'll be ready and um, we'll, be, we'll be getting into it. Well, we're here to win, first and foremost. That's the most important thing. That's what we get judged on. But we, like, we, we want to see signs of what we've been working on and how we build our game. Um, that's not going to be fixed tomorrow, either way. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the win, because that's what we're here for. We're all about winning. England, England playing for England, coaching England is about winning. Um, but I, I, I have a feeling it, it won't be 3-0. Uh, as you were involved previously, and you are still here, which the other coaches weren't, do you think it will look very different? I hope. Well, we want to be a positive team that plays a, 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 a brand and quality of rugby that wins the game. Now, there's different ways of winning the game, so we've got to find a way to do that. You know, tomorrow we have a plan to go into the game with. We're going to have to see if that's the right plan, and we've got enough quality on the field to um, deal with what's in front of us. So. We want to play with passion and pride and, and effort and show what it means to, to play for England. Um, nothing that, that you won't have heard from Steve from, from day one. Lovely stuff. Right, we'll end it there. Thanks, um, everyone. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.